Welcome to the Cary Systems Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the DOORS 32 for Windows software basic installation and configuration. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. This is module 2 of 16, Navigating Doors 32 software. In this module, we will get an overview of the software layout. A door shortcut icon is placed on the computer desktop. Double click the icon to start doors. You must log on to perform program functions. Each operator should have a unique username and password. The default username and password is carry carry. Note the uppercase K in the password field. Passwords are case sensitive. Enter the username and password in the respective field, and then click OK. The network update window informs you that first-time communication between doors and controller network needs to be made. Future appearances of this window alert you to database changes that need to be uploaded to the controller network. Click OK. The DOORS desktop header is made up of four distinct sections. The Windows title bar, the pull-down menu bar, the toolbar for access to the most used features of DOORS, and the task field. The task field is a sub-window of the features selected from the pull-down menu bar or the toolbar icon. The toolbar provides access to the most often used features of the program. The DOORS desktop footer contains information at the bottom of your DOORS 32 window. There's the status help field, the monitor indicator field. This indicates whether the monitor is turned on or off. The date field, which indicates the host computer's date, and the time field indicating the host computer time. The pull-down menu bar provides categorized access to all features within doors. All features of the program are available from the drop-down menus. Some features will be displayed only if the option has been turned on in the System Options section. The Help About pull-down menu option displays the door software revision number and the name of the currently logged operator. You will need to know the door software version when you contact technical support. If a menu option is grayed out, it's either because the user does not have access rights to this feature, the feature has not been enabled, or the feature window is already open and may be minimized somewhere on the screen. Click the Show Next Window icon button in, the, in order to show the next open window. Other windows are set behind the open window. The window's display type can be set by clicking on the window pull-down list and selecting the type of display desired. Click the Launch Utility Backup icon to launch the Backup Utility Program. This will shut down the DOORS program. In addition, you will be asked if you want to launch the Backup Utility each time DOORS is closed. Backup is described in detail in its own module. The Online Help menu can be accessed by clicking on the Toolbar button to open the Online Help window. 
the complete DOORS user guide is displayed in hypertext searchable format. This should be your first source for help and information before calling tech support. Most questions about the software will be answered in the user guide. Log off doors when you have completed your work. Logging off prevents unauthorized people from performing doors tasks and ensures system security. This completes module two of 16, navigating doors software.